And Canada's youngest children are now eligible for COVID-19 vaccine. Health Canada has approved Moderna's vaccine for kids between the ages of six months and five years old. It's the first vaccine approved for that age group, meaning nearly two million children in Canada are now eligible. Dr. Anna Banerjee is an associate professor of pediatrics and infectious disease at the University of Toronto's Dalalana School of Public Health, and she joins us now live. Uh, Dr. Banerjee, thanks for being here this morning. Probably the biggest question or dilemma for parents now is about safety and side effects. There's a lot of information out there and misinformation as well. So let's start with the benefits. Are there benefits to these young kids, six months to five years old, getting the vaccine? No, absolutely. The first thing is protecting that child because children can get uh, COVID and it's usually mild, but some kids can get very sick and end up hospitalized. There can be COVID pneumonia. Uh, COVID can exacerbate uh, other uh, underlying conditions like asthma. Uh, you can have serious problems like uh, inflammatory syndromes, which require hospitalization. So it's protecting that child, but also it's protecting that child's community. So um, pregnant women, like a mother may be pregnant, they're at high risk. You may have grandparents who are at risk, someone at home uh, who's on chemotherapy, etc. but also preventing that child to transmit it to other children, teachers, etc. Dr. Banerjee, how does all of this kind of uh, factor in with like summer camps, daycares and, you know, returning to school like preschool and, and kinder care in the fall? Well, so it's it's two doses of the vaccine and eight weeks apart. So I'm not sure that we can get the kids vaccinated before school starts, but we can start as soon as as soon as it's available, as soon as possible. Um, but it's. It's having kids in these congregate settings where there's a bunch of other kids and they're not wearing masks because they're little. It, it allows the, the virus to spread from child to child. And it's the last group of unvaccinated people that are in uh, these congregate settings. So it's a really big deal. Dr. Banerjee, you went over the benefits. I want to talk about risks because I remember covering the last rollout with kids five and up. You had some parents who couldn't wait for the day their kids could be vaccinated. You had others uh, who said, I'm vaccinated. I'm a little more hesitant to vaccinate my child just because there's a lack of long-term studies uh, associated with these vaccines. So for any parents watching us who are feeling apprehensive, are there risks to getting their kids vaccinated? So in the study, they had uh, placebo groups and they had vaccinated groups, and they compared it. There's about 5,500 kids in the study, and there were no serious side effects related to the vaccine. There were side effects like, you know, sore arm, uh, you know, irritability, crying, uh, those kinds of things. But otherwise, there were, were no serious side effects. The other thing is that they've been watching this, this post-marketing of this vaccine, and it's been given to millions of people around the world. And, and, and so, and they continue to monitor the vaccine. And there's been generally no side effects in, in um, the older kids. Like there was myocarditis in certain age groups, but, but generally this, this vaccine is safe. Yeah, and speaking of the vaccine, will you know will there be any benefit against the newest Omicron strains? And if not, will it be of any benefit to the children? Because you know, there's also the message of telling you know healthier adults to wait for the fall when there may be a more specific vaccine that will be better. So we don't know when that vaccine is going to come out. We don't know if it's September or December. And a lot of people, like myself their immunity has waned over this time period. My last vaccine was uh, in March 2021. And myself and I think four or five of my pediatric colleagues have had COVID in the past two weeks. And so I wouldn't wait. There's a lot of us that are vulnerable because because Omicron is slightly different, but it's, it's the waning immunity. That being said, I think that we do need um, more specific vaccines to target the circulating strains, Omicron, uh, right now. And they're working on that. I think we need an update. But the current vaccine will protect children against serious disease, hospitalizations, and that's what it's for. 
Dr. Anna Benerji, infectious diseases specialist, thanks so much for your time this morning. Really appreciate your, your analysis. I'm sure it's a lot for parents to be thinking about right now. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Thank you.